Okay guys, and welcome back to another Yaya video. Okay, so if you guys have already seen from the title, you already know what I've got with me here today. Okay, so it was my birthday last week. <laughs> And I was given a gift, a really nice one. And it's been something that I've been wanting for a long time. Some of you that do know, you know my mum. She's been in a few videos of mine. I let her borrow my blow dryer and she said it smelled like smoke after she used it. So she chucked it in the bin without telling me. There was one day I was looking to blow dry my hair and it was no longer there. So I was like, you know what? Perfect time for me to treat myself. Let me get myself this hair dryer. Lucky for me, I got given it for my birthday. So I'm just gonna go and show you guys what it is because I'm pretty sure you already know. So I got this guy. <laughs> this is basically an unboxing because I haven't opened it. It's the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer and this is, I believe in copper, it's the gift edition. So it comes with a bag and guys, I'm so excited. This is actually from Boots. So it comes like this with the blow dryer in here and then the gift little bag in there for traveling. And she looks like this. Very nice and very sleek. Ah! Okay, so <laughs> let me just get this open because I guess right, we need to get started, isn't it? In all my excitement, I didn't even say what we're gonna be doing. So, in addition to me getting this blow dryer, I'm also going to be doing a wash and go. So this is gonna be the same sort of style, not much different from what I usually do, but this time round, I am going to be diffusing instead of air drying. Because as usual, it is late. It is 11.40 p.m. today, it's Saturday. So tomorrow's Sunday and this video needs to go out. So, yes. <laughs> this is very 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 last minute as always but you guys should not be you know surprised this is me i always feel very very late so i've decided to diffuse today for the first time because i heard that this thing over here is pretty good at reducing frizz and i think i've got a really good wash and go routine going on like as in i'm not gonna lie, i really really love my wash and go routine that i have now it's a staple and i'm not trying to change it and i think i usually get really good definition so i don't see why this time around i won't get that okay so on the inside of here it has got loads of different um attachments so this is the diffuser attachment that we're going to be using today i think this is a heat mat so i can lay it down if i do need to it's really snazzy gosh okay and on the inside of here it's got like a i think an instructions manual just to let you know what to do with your particular hair type and it has quite a few different attachments so it has this one over here there's a concentrated nod nozzle this is an even more concentrated nozzle and an extra nozzle that i'm not too sure what it does but you guys can see it there okay so before we begin the blow drying process i am just going to do my normal um routine so as always i'm going to go in i got a new spray bottle guys because my other one just stopped squirting properly so i just got another one exactly the same thing so my hair has been freshly washed um it's still slightly damp i would say about 70 percent damp but i need to wet it again so i can get the, through the process so this you know what i think i like this one better than that one i think it does more of a longer spray okay as usual i'm going in with my camille bros the car love moisture milk my fave oh that's a lot i'm just gonna pop that all the way through my hair as i usually would So today I'm using oil that was actually gifted to me. I believe it's by Ivy Wild, but I got it from a um, subscription box actually. It was actually a scalp oil and I got it from, I believe, 4C Curly Hair, which is actually a natural hair subscription box. And you guys know that I always say, if you're a natural and you are looking for some new products, it's always best to try it and find a subscription box. Um, I first used Treasure Tress. I believe 4C Curly Hair is also one and there are quite a few out there. If you do want to, you know, find a way to get to know your natural hair, find out what products work for you i usually say it's a fantastic place to start 
so now that is nicely moisturized and sealed if you guys have watched my video where i tried the s curl curl gel activator yes i am still using this i don't i don't know why i don't think people believe me when i say i like something like i don't ever come on here to say i like a product if i don't like it as in like i would not even review it but when i like something i'm, t I'm being honest i'm being very honest here and i love this so i'm going to be using it i even bought another one like a I don't think this one was enough so i bought the tub so i've got some there on standby just in case i run out this time okay so this stuff is good because whenever i put it in my hair does not feel hard and i use a lot of eco styler again if you're not new here you know i love a bit of products as in i like a lot of products let's be honest so whenever i put this in my hair it's got like a watery consistency but boy oh boy i'm never ever disappointed okay so because london's in lockdown <laughs> sorry england the uk is in lockdown i got myself look at my face a really big tub of eco styler from the hair shop just before they announced it because i was not gonna lack during this whole quarantine hell no so I like to be I'm a bit heavy-handed as I always mention so I'm gonna take section by section and I'm just gonna apply the eco styler throughout my hair and I like to make sure I coat it just so I'm able to get it fully covered and I like to do what you call like the I don't even know shingling method it's kind of a shingling kind of not I just like to make sure I'm separating the curls as I go down and not neglecting the root okay so now my hair is completely saturated with gel and product it's a lot i'm now going to begin the diffusing stage okay so that's magnetic which is pretty cool i am going to put this on i'm going to quickly read the instructions because i don't know who i thought i was no thinking that i knew how to do this already okay so i guess once i turn it on <sighs> wait i'm <was> already <laughs> okay once i turn it on there's like really really faint tiny dots over here so when you put it on it's got the airflow setting which is the little fan on the side over here which is on the left hand side and then it has the temperature setting it has four precise heat settings and then we have the on and off button and the cold shot and it's also got a removable filter all right the attachment's on let's get to it so i'm gonna turn it on okay so already you guys can see that the volume has changed there's volume in my hair now so that is some great stuff so let's give it let's give the review okay so this thing is expensive i'm not gonna lie it is not a cheap device <sighs> but you know i've tried my fair share of blow dryers i've tried the revlon i've used the wool og pick blow dryer you guys know about that i've used nikki clark i've used quite a few different blow dryers so i think i'm all right to test and say whether or not this is going to be a good one this is fantastic it is fantastic when it's blowing it doesn't really blow it's like it's not blowing the air out it's like sucking the hot air in but there's still heat there which is fantastic which means that your hair is not getting frizzy guys this is like blown out hair this is not air dried as in Look at the definition in my hair there's barely any frizz like you only have the tiny little tufts there but that's not even frizz there is no frizz and i always do this wash and go style i'm going to see if i can post a picture of what i usually look like when i do my wash and goes with air dried hair and you guys can compare the two see how it goes but guys my hair is amazing and it's very very fast drying and yeah i'm feeling it 
With normal blow dryers, when you're using it, it do, they do tend to get quite hot in certain areas. You can't just leave the hair dryer in one section of your hair for long, or else you're going to feel that, that little burn going on. With this, I was able to leave it on in one section for a while, and I was fine. I also have got a bit of volume for day one hair. Like, I'm very happy with this. Like, I'm not sure if you guys still, it started off very, very um, flat. And then it just, you know, this side went up. I need to get this side to now match. But this side just got the volume that I needed without causing the frizz that I don't want. So this is definitely going to last me, I would say, the rest of the week. I am really, really, really feeling this. And I definitely do think that this is, like... If I'm ever in a rush again and I don't want to air dry, which is most of the time, I'm probably going to be using the diffuser. And I'm going to answer the question you guys are all asking. Is it worth it? Okay, so if you have got, I think it's £300. Let me just double check. It's £300 for the Dyson dryer. It was a gift, but as I said, I was planning to buy it myself. It, I would buy it again. I think if you've got the funds or if you're looking for something that hasn't got as much damage as a regular blow dryer and you do blow dry your hair quite often, I would say this is perfect because it's temperature regulated. It's also got loads of different attachments and they're magnetic, so it's quite good. It's got the smoothing tool and quite a few things as well. Only thing I've realised now is that I'm not going to be able to use my hooded dryer attachment on this because the nozzle is different but i'm gonna find an alternative don't you worry i am loving this and i'm definitely happy and very, very glad that i got going into this thing it is it's even cute like it's my sort of vibes like got the rust i believe you get it in silver and also in the original purple color but it's fantastic but you guys can see it can't close for you I love, love, love how it turned out. And I will be doing this again in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to catch you guys in another one. Ciao.